Greetings and salutations, YouTube Wanderer. The Lost One Game here, and welcome to We the Revolution. The year is 1794, and the French Revolution is upon us. And I've for some reason been put in charge of the Revolutionary Tribunal. It's up to me now to preside over the cases that enter my courtroom and make sure that justice is served. But without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Father. I am here. Do you hear me? I gave you the best I could. Why did you disown me? I have your blood in my veins. How could you? Do I mean nothing to you? Why did you grieve for him? He was nothing. I am better than he was. People will follow in my footsteps. Father. Alright, well that was weird. <laughs> was a little bit depressing as well. I don't even know what was going on in that. I don't even know who that was, or if I should care about who that guy was, or why that guy was murdered. France, turn of the 18th century. I sure hope that what they're laughing about is uh, pretty funny. That guy's throwing up all over, I guess that's not Lady Liberty, but ew. That's quite disgusting. I'm pretty sure that's kind of disrespectful, sir. I need you not to do that. <laughs> Good to have to ask you from refraining to uh, throwing up on the, uh, the flag there. Reminds me, Mr. Raymond Devoy. I'm probably not, I'm going to mispronounce a lot of these names, to be completely honest, because they're, they're French, so uh, forgive me if I don't, uh, do, if I don't pronounce these correctly. Remind me next time that I want to stop drinking this uh, cloudy rotkut. Remind me before I drink it. We're disgracing Themis. Oh, is that who they call it? Okay, Themis. Ha, is someone coming? I don't know. Who is coming? Oh. Mathilda Fidel. This was bound to happen. I told you, but not Fidel. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these are my kids. <laughs> these are my kids and my wife. Papa, you said we would go. You promised. Papa had a lot of work. Indeed, I did. I'm a judge. I'm a very busy man. Yes, and a lot of heavy glasses. Look, Bernard, okay? This is not this is not a, a point of discussion here. <laughs> you promised me. I can't anymore. I'm fed up with asking. Mama is angry because quiet. Today, your favorite son wanted to prove he was more honorable than his father, so he started a fight. A five-year-old boy, for God's sake. Oh, God. What have I gotten my kids into? <laughs> Our neighbors wanted you uh, to explain to that to them, but while well, you were fighting for justice at an inn. Dang you, you bloody drunk. <laughs> Oh, God. Mother. Oh, no. What has happened with my kids? I'm going to have to sentence my own child in the first free. <laughs> oh, no. I have played a little bit of this so far to kind of get into the swing of it, but this is still just weird to me. Documents and letters. Drag and uh, drop documents to manage a layout. Uh, click to display their contents. Events. Reaction to events. Ignoring them uh, may have severe consequences. Okay. It's a notebook. Review detailed information about current events, actions, and characters. The verdict. Consider the effects and decide the defendant's fate. All right. Change the settings of the game. Higher can review the current balance of power in Paris and your position therein. Intrigues or complex, uh, complex conflicts between you and another political character or player. Uh, a defeat may turn out to be disastrous for you. Okay. Influence points. Influence points are the main currency in the game. Use them wisely. Notifications pay close uh, attention to changes in your influence and relations with factions. Okay, global modifiers, some of your decisions, and changes in the world of the game may cause global modifiers to come into action. These factors affect relations, reputation, and influence. You can review them in the notebook. This game pretty much 
puts you in the position to be kind of judged you're an executioner you have to keep a good relationship with your family um the revolutionaries and the normal common folk people uh which is kind of hard to do because they're all going to want different things so it's kind of weird at times i'm going to check the news first you know addictions are no longer a secret make a decision um can i read this first before i make a decision your addictions are no longer a secret the fact that the other children are bullying your son because of them is a minor problem but who is spreading those rumors it is likely to be one of their parents they could have whispered in their children's ears whom they shouldn't play with and why they might have even spiced the story up a little with a lie but who will hear it next so i have the choice of intimidating the parents but that will use all of my influence points so i'm just gonna say let's let's talk eye to eye you know i don't never heard eye to eye I've heard face to face but never eye to eye let's have ourselves a little chat parents feel like you can talk about me and uh, being a drunk behind my back and make fun of my kids <laughs> Lost one influence point for that, but uh, I guess it was going to be worth it in, at the end of the day. Case file. All right, files. Review charges and facts. This will make it easier for you to unlock questions for the defendant. We have not expected this kind of behavior from your son. Although apparently we should have. Innocent child's play turned into an assault on our children. The younger one, Antoine, uh, now has a chipped front tooth. We hope that you will punish your child accordingly. Should the situation repeat itself, we will react more decisively. The frick is that? Are you gonna like beat up a child? Is that what you're telling me right now? I could have you in court then. We, we could have a whole different case here. <laughs> child abuse. All right. But should the situation repeat itself, we react more decisively. I'm sure that we can deal with a gambler and drunkard, even if he is a judge. I'd like to see you try, my friend. We will not let our children be hurt. Okay. So there's only one page of things in here. So all right, we're gonna unlock the questioning. Our own child who's sitting there defending himself. He's a very brave boy. All right, so finding links. Find the correct links to unlock questions for the defendant. Choose a line of inquiry and link it to the right category. Chances. While linking lines of inquiry in categories, you can make a limited number of mistakes. If you make too many mistakes, the whole system will become locked. All right. Some cases may contain traps. Read through files thoroughly to uh, find lines of inquiry that are irrelevant. Okay. So, possibility of repeating. So, we got child's play, fighting children, injured Antoine, and chipped tooth. I would say that injured Antoine would likely be the victim, right? Okay, so that's one question down. I've got two attempts, or two mistakes to make. Uh, technically three, I guess, because it's two, and then you make one last mistake. I think that's how it goes. And there's one trap. So there's three more questions, and I got four more options. So something's going to be irrelevant. Child's play, course of events, fighting children. That's probably going to be course of events, right? Okay, so that one's another one down. Chip tooth? Extraordinary circumstances, course of events, child's play, possibility of repeating. I mean, they didn't really discuss that. I mean, it was sort of there, but not exactly. Uh, so between victim and course of events, I'd say victim. Okay, there we go. So we got one more question now. Child's play, probably be course of events, right? There we go. So the possibility of repeating was irrelevant. Uh, questions gather information influence the jury's attitude what jury there's nobody here <laughs> there is no one here other than my my other son um and and that guy <laughs> and that guy and my wife of course all right being in the jury's good graces allows you to find out which way they will sway after you have asked a question all right how did your play turn into a fight so i have four questions i guess we'll just go down the line here what exactly were they saying uh how did your play turn into a fight all right, uh, neighbors, Antoine and Jean, Jean, I'm going to assume it's Jean, uh, they were saying mean things about you. We were playing guards and they asked me to pretend to be a drunkard whom they would, you know, you were fighting both of them at once. I had to. My boy is strong. <laughs> what exactly were they saying? Yes, what exactly were they saying? Are you too drunk to guess? Really? You're my son. Why the frick aren't you, why, why are you in this situation right now? I was not asking you exactly. Pipe down over there in the corner. They were yelling that you are, well, I told them that's, that it's not true, and they started calling me names. They called me a drunkard, son. Could have think of uh, worse things that they could have called you, but okay. Who started the fight? I can tell you who ended it. Um, I think it was me. I kicked the one on the left and then wanted to get the one on the right, but, but they ended it. They knocked me to the ground and paid me back for hitting them. Did you really break Antoine's tooth? Frederick is just a child. Well, I mean, he's a guilty child. <laughs> he did admit to it. I don't know. I don't I, I don't think so. Did you hit him in the face? I think I kicked him, but not that hard. All right, so there's no more questions for my child. My wife is just sitting over there in the corner. I can't say anything to her or my other son or this guy. 
So I guess I have no choice but to deliver a verdict. All right, punishment. Make the most important decision. Condemn the defendant or deem them not guilty. Signature, sign the document to legitimize your verdict. The thing is, is that although this is my child, and as much as I would like to declare that he's not guilty, he pretty much admitted to it. I mean, he's not denying that he did it. He, I mean, I, I, his reasons were fair. He's defending me, but at the same time, you can't just go around breaking people's teeth. You can't, you can't do that. You have to be restrained. So we're going to deliver a guilty verdict. My wife's going to freaking punch me in the face later on, but, you know, it's, it's okay. <laughs> I, I must, people must know that I am a fair judge, all right, even if it is my own child. Fortunately, you should not start fights, regardless of the reason. Exactly. This is what I... I must set precedent here as a judge. Precedent. Those children are so small, and they already know the truth. The father of my, ch my children is a lying drunk and a gambler. Bernard used to worship you, but he soon grew up. Now it is Frederick's turn to learn the truth that echoes in the streets. Look, I'm, I'm teaching him responsibility still at this end of the day. You want me to stop drinking and to stop gambling? Fine. And that will happen. He's no longer fearing your anger. He knows that your threats are empty. Frederick... I mean, I did just punish him. What the frick do you mean my threats are empty? I just said he was guilty. <laughs> Frederick is only starting to learn the truth about his father from the streets. I was unaware that Mathilda had such a temper. Yeah, no. As was I. We will wait outside as always. All right, so that was technically my first case. I think this is the real case that's about to happen next. But we will see. We will see. Paris. She does not look very happy over there. We were enchanted by the idea of freedom. We could not resist it. Whole families took to the streets. I love how he's having this like casual conversation about freedom. As this man is just being like hung in the background, like we're not gonna, we're pretending like this isn't happening right now. <laughs> this man is literally being hung right now. We were enchanted by the idea of freedom. This is what freedom does to you, apparently. Oh, Lord. Violence, violence, uh, and indeed. Acts 1, Liberty. Day 1, my first day on the job as a judge. I wonder what's gonna be in store for me. <laughs> Terrible things, probably. Very terrible things, but, of course, I must fulfill my duties one way or the other. An expected sentence. Find out which verdict is expected by factions and your close ones. Okay, so it seems like at the moment, both the revolutionaries and the common folk expect a prison sentence. Alright, so let's see. I need to check the news. Neighborhood gossip. Hmm. Your fa the father had a rare episode of foolishness when he decided to stand up to someone stronger, threatening him with a fist and showing his children they are safe by his side. He did not listen to your arguments. Furthermore, he gave a precise description of where you can shove them. You know what? Forget you. I don't care about you. I need those influence points more than likely for something. All right. So now, where do we stand? My notebook wise. My relations. Negative relations with factions mean negative consequences for you. The fever in Paris rising. Reputation impacts everything in the world, factions, family relations, the honest's attitude, the fervor in sections, and even the ability to persuade other characters. Influence points. You have a set amount of influence points per day. In the future, you'll be able to increase this limit. Okay. So sentences, it gives me like an overall um, overview of what sentences I've carried out. Anyway, let's get into this case, shall we? The case file. Compiled by Richard Monia. John Renard, a 45-year-old innkeeper, has been charged with fraud. He's accused of diluting alcohol in his tavern, tricking his clients into paying extra. Guests came with their minds set on a specific goal, getting roaring drunk. Okay. But instead of staggering out after drinking two pitchers of wine or several pints of beer, they would sit in the inn until morning, still sober and completely penniless. The innkeeper's fraud came to light when one of the customers discovered the scam and caught the cheater in the act. The man entered the host's cell and witnessed him diluting the alcohol in the barrels with ordinary water. As a result... The customers received only four parts of what they paid for, and one part from the water carrier. Okay. So now, we have our questioning from Mr. Our, our friend here. Forgot his name already, just that quick. <laughs> I'm a terrible judge. All right, so adding water. The innkeeper diluting alcohol. There's four questions, so none of these would be traps, I guess. I guess we'll see. Diluting, uh, diluting the alcohol. Exposing the innkeeper. Customer's drunkenness. 
I'm pretty sure that adding water would be part of a method, right? Okay. Diluting the alcohol would also probably be part of either a method or a motive. I mean, the innkeeper, innkeeper, witnesses. I think, if I remember correctly, I don't think the innkeeper is relevant in this. Exposing the innkeeper would be witnesses or motive. Okay, it's witnesses. Customer's drunkenness, motive, probably. Okay, and you've got diluting the alcohol would lastly be method. There we go. We didn't get trapped up. We got it exactly right. Okay, I forgot your name again, but Mr. Mr. Renaud. Yes, Mr. Renaud, I have a line of questioning for you. Difficult times. People would like to seek peace at the bottom of a glass. Yes, Mr. Devoy. Uh, please introduce yourself. My name is John Renaud, Monsieur Le Judge. All right, nothing but a thought. People in the background are just having their own conversations back here. I will not have this in my court. I need order. Where's my gavel? <laughs> I don't have a gavel. Jury's not reached his verdict yet. All right, we have our line of questioning. Uh, how long have you been involved in the legal practice of diluting alcohol? How long have you been involved in the uh, practice of diluting alcohol? It's not a legal practice. Everyone adds a bit. It's funny that he's pretty much admitting that he's guilty, though, right now. Like, in your case, it was a bit of wine in water, not the other way around. Have you been doing this for a long time? A few weeks at most. It's been hard to earn a living lately. I used to run an honest business. Pure wine was overspilling the glasses. Is there any proof to support your testimony? He lied to his customers. No reason he wouldn't lie in court. All right. So at the moment, the jury feels that this man should go free. I don't think they're going to believe that by the end of it, considering they all wanted this. Sometimes it's weird because the jury will want something, but then the other people won't like it. So it's like, I have to kind of keep this in balance. Um, let's see. How do you feel about tricking weary citizens? Terrible, but all I wanted was to keep my business afloat. So he's admitting that he's guilty, though. That's the thing. He's admitting that he's guilty. Others don't mess around for sure. No diluting would be the end for me. So he decided to commit fraud so as not to lose money. If I lost my tavern, my family would start to death. He's trying to play on my sympathy right now. I'm a very sympathetic man, but at the same time, you have admitted that you're guilty. You have children. I do. One son and two daughters. Time to start saving up for the dowry. Then why don't you send them to work, idiot? Please call on Thomas Leclerc. Your clients drink a lot. Tavern regulars usually drink a lot. So have you been selling plenty of wine? Quite a lot, yes. So you should be making money, right? And yet you have been paying taxes on the amount of wine you've brought, not the amount of wine you've been selling, correct? I don't understand. You've been paying taxes on four wine barrels, but by adding a quarter of water to each... Have actually been have actually made money for selling five barrels of wine. That's one way of putting it. Perhaps it is correct. I'm not too good with numbers. Apparently you aren't. You're not good with numbers, yet good enough to have calculated that fraud pays off. I wasn't aware. Yes, you were. I will take this answer to account. The judge has exposed him. I have indeed. He deserves prison. Please call in Thomas Leclerc. Mr. Leclerc, are you one of the witnesses to this crime? Please introduce yourself. Thomas Leclerc, I'm a regular at Jean Bernard's establishment. How long have you suspected that something was wrong with Mr. Renard's alcohol? How did you catch him in the act? Um, I can two two questions here, two lines of questioning. I want to say, how long did you suspect it? Uh, I became suspicious around a month ago. Plenty of wine were empty, but instead of getting more drunk, I was getting sober. I don't think that's really how that works. Even with diluted alcohol, you would still get more drunk, though, right? It was already dawn when I realized I had no money left on me, and I was as sober as a baby. How was that possible? Exactly. Back then, I didn't realize customers were being served a proper first drink and then receiving more and more water in the drinks after that. Being slightly drunk, they weren't able to notice the difference. Wasn't like that every time. Every single time. Okay. So now, I mean, at this point, let's see. The protocol, review the child's records. I have no choice but to believe that this man is guilty of the crimes that he has been accused. He hasn't denied it. He's pretty much accepted the fact that he is guilty. So, I mean... The jury also wants to see him go to prison. Both the common folk and the revolutionaries want to see him go to prison. So as judge, I deliver my first verdict, and I deliver that my verdict is that he shall go to prison and that he is guilty. I sign my signature, and there you go. I'm in the good graces of both folk now. There you go. I send this citizen John Renard to prison. Lead the condemned out. Huzzah! Long live pure wine. All right. Unlock question four out of four. Reputation. Why is my reputation bad? Influence of the jury. Alright. So that's that. Nothing else I can do there. Why is it still sitting here? Uh, game? <laughs> game? Hello? Why is this here? I can't leave. Uh, 
Oh, down there. Okay, I was about to say, I can't just exit. After try, click to move on to the next part. Okay, so I want to see. I got plus five with the common folk, plus three with the revolutionaries. Okay. Uh, why are you still here? Somebody escort this man out of here. Anyway, let's go ahead and end and go to the next case. All right. Who? boy, oh boy, oh boy, who are you? Jacques Louis David, may I remind you that you promised to join me? I have a feeling that tonight's moon favors gamblers. Look, my wife already hates me. My children are being, like, forced into fights because of this. I'm not going out gambling. Though it does not favor spouses, exactly. God should grace us with wives who understand the importance of an evening game of dice. They should also, uh, they should also know that the right amount of wine guarantees a lucky roll. I should go home. Bringing a judge to the game has benefits. Other players will surely not cheat. Really? I mean, is that going to be a thing that I could bring them to court for? That is not a strong argument, exactly. <laughs> My name is Jacques Louis David. Uh, I am but a humble painter, not a silver-tongued judge. You are a sly politician, Jacques. As a politician, I understand the importance of keeping my promises. And you, my friend, are trying to get out of yours. Look, I gotta go home, man. My wife already hates what I'm doing. Every, my kids, you know, everybody knows I'm a drunk. I can't be out gambling. I, I gotta go home. I gotta do the right thing, okay? Gotta keep the family in the good graces, too. I, I mean, I might have missed out on the political influence or something there. <laughs> But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> See, we're having a nice little time here. Everybody's having a nice time drinking and eating and having some good food. If I went out gambling, I wouldn't have this opportunity right now. I wouldn't have a time to spend with my family. My lovely family who all hate me. <laughs> At least she looks a little bit less disappointed now. Because <laughs> she looked real disappointed earlier, so... I think we did the right thing here. I think we did the right thing. I guess time will tell. <laughs> Time will tell with all decisions that I make in this game, actually, so... Late evening, the judge's house. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, it's just me and my wife now. This, okay, this is gonna be an interesting conversation, isn't it? <laughs> what? Uh, do you not... Do you not want to berate me like you always do? I'm glad you're home. Are you aware that Frederick sometimes imagines you as a deep-sea sailor? He dreams that you visit distant countries and have wonderful adventures. Very imaginative boy. Uh, but he would rather have you by his side on land. We all want that. I don't want to watch the storm blow your lifeboat away and bury it beneath the waves. There are no waves. The storm is getting closer. Dark clouds already hang over the shore. Just wait until they finish building the guillotine. Oh, God. I forgot. Judge, jury, and executioner is coming. All right. Your oars will break at once, and the waves will take you to a place you wish you'd never set foot on. And she's up. And a place without us. She's threatening to leave. This is not what I want. This is why I have to keep everything together right now. I can't afford to lose my family and lose everything else. Possibly my head. Your family loves you, but we won't uh, We won't find you in the darkness that has already begun to reach for you. What? I made a decision on, like, two cases. One, actually, technically. So this is the grandfather. Family actions. Upon returning home, you can decide how uh, you'd like to spend the rest of the day. Various actions. Each action will affect other members of the family, as well as your attitude towards you. Uh, each character's attitude can provide you with or deprive you of certain bonuses, reputation, or relation with factions. Youngest son, uh, his attitude makes the other family members like you slightly more. Take good care of him. We've got Aldrich, who's my father. Uh, Bernard, who's the other son. And, well, the oldest son, I guess I could say. And my wife. So we got playtime with the grant with the children. I just want to do playtime with the children. I think my children need to, uh, I think they need to be uh, around me more. So they don't hate me so much. There you go. Play time with the... Oh, my wife hates me for that? What the frick? I'm spending time with our kids. Why do? Why would you hate me for that? Alright. At least we got some sort of a connection here, though, I guess, going on. Act 1, Liberty. Day 2. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> another day, another day as judge of the tribunal. <laughs> oh, I wonder what case we're gonna have today. But I'm gonna end here, guys. And I will see you in the next one.